How you doing today? I came on here to talk to you today about the three things that you're going to need to have if you want to be considered a reliable aid. All right. Let's talk about that. Reliable, reliable, reliable. It's a lot of meaning in a word. Reliable. Reliable to me should mean to you too. Somebody that you, you can depend on. Somebody that you can count on. You know, I know that this person is coming to take good care of me. Reliable. Now, I think that's universal across the board. So, with that being said, my name is Kion Church. I am the founder and Delaware District Administrator of Reliable Aid, Inc. What do we do? We, uh, we provide safe solutions for seniors. And uh, I'm going to go into it even a little further today because a guy told me the other day, he was like, Mr. KC, what do you do? He's like, I, I, I hear you talking all the time, but I don't know what you do. We send direct care workers out to your family or to your loved one's home, you know, wherever they're at, sometimes in a facility if they're a facilitated living person. Uh, we send them there to take care of everything from companionship to their ADLs, you know, whatever it is they need. How you doing today, Miss Marshall? Um, so what I came on to talk to you today about is what is a reliable aid and how do you become one? All right, let's get straight into it. Uh, to be a reliable aid, the number one, the number one thing that you are going to need to have, you already got to have this when you get here, is a big heart. Easy enough, right? Everybody says, oh, big heart. I got a big heart. I care about people, you know, this and this and that. You know, I don't really know about you, but I'm going to tell you like this. If you don't care about some other people more than you care about yourself, you're probably not a big hearted person. I'm going to even go a step, uh, step further. You're not a big hearted person. You must care about some other people more than you care about yourself to be considered big hearted. You know what I mean? To even be a caregiver, that's, that's even something else. You know, this ain't Kmart. This is not Macy's. You don't just go in and, and see people during the day and check them out and that's it. You know, we need real people with true feelings that can be involved, that can be in other people's lives. You know, people that want to come out and bring smiles to other people's faces. You know, like I say, in other people's places and faces, you know, because that's what we do. We bring smiles to other people. All right. The number two dose thing that you're going to need to, uh, and we do have a couple Spanish workers too. So, you know, we are multilingual around here. But the number two thing you're going to need to be a big hearted caregiver is a clean background. Um, been running into some instances, people telling me, Hey, Mr. Casey, you know, I don't, I'm not really into that anymore. And, you know, I had a bad past and I did this and I did that. Listen, I understand, you know, uh, nobody in the world could better be able to understand you more than me, Mr. KC, because, uh, you know, I done been there and done it all, seen it all, everything. But listen, if your record is not right, I can't put you into people's houses like that. Number one, it's not my call. The, uh, this is a highly, uh, regulated industry. The state regulates it. And what they do now is they have a, uh, check. It's a, a statewide check. It's called State Bureau of Investigation Background Check. So everybody that wants to be a caregiver in the state of Delaware has to have a Delaware SBI State Bureau of Investigations background check. Now, in the background check, if you want to know what's, what's in this background check, Mr. Casey, well, you got things like adult abuse registry checks. Um, you got to be able to pass an adult abuse registry check. That's within the SBI background check. It's got a uh, child abuse registry check. You know, you can't be a person that beats on your kids or old people if, if you want to be a big hearted caregiver. I mean, that, that's just going against the principle, but legally by law can't have you in the folk home if, you know, you're not prepared or whatever. So uh, along with that, the number three thing that you need to be a big hearted caregiver, to be a reliable, because that's the key word we building on in this live today, reliable big hearted caregiver. You must have a car. Transportation is everything. You know, I had a uh, I had a client the other day, you know, lady didn't show up and, and the people told me they said, uh, well, you know, I was something, something where it's like, listen, the patient does not care about you not being there to help them because the patient needs help. So if you're here to help the patient, you're gonna have to be where the patient at is at to help the patient. You can't be, you know, I was over at my cousin's house and his car broke down. You're not reliable. And I don't know if you ever went to the website, but I'm telling you from the gate, if you're not reliable, we can't use you. We only use reliable aids to, to do what we do. And that's big hearted caregiving. 
So I'm going to just read it to you from the brochure. Excellent personal assistance. All reliable aid caregivers are employed by the agency. That means a lot. Now, some people get... They get employees that's not employed by the agency. Why would I want somebody to come into my house that's not insured, drug tested, you know, background check? I don't know. I don't know. These other companies, they do other things. But if you want to be a big hearted, reliable caregiver, Reliable Aid Inc. is hiring. And this is what we're looking for. Okay. All employees, all employees are background checked or verified through DHSS. Now, that's long term health and everybody knows what that's about. And we just went through that. Uh, we are fully bonded and insured for general and professional liability. I don't know where these uh, these internet caregivers, you know, what they doing, where you getting them from. I don't know. I don't know who's standing behind them. I know we stand behind ours. Ours are fully insured for workers' comp claims, and uh, they're strictly monitored for performance, quality, and client satisfaction. So, what's that mean to you? That means we're gonna come to your loved one's house, your parents' house, where you need a little help at. We're going to uh, take care of them like, you know, they like they were our own family. We're going to uh, do everything it is to assist their health and, you know, uh, their progress and going forward. Now, if you are excited that you can even get this good in-home health care uh, for your parents and loved ones on the Internet, what I'm going to need you to do is smash the wild face. You know, um, now this is actually a topic that somebody else had asked me about. Now, you, you're doing what I'm telling you because you're here now and you obviously love your parents and you're asking questions. What I'm going to need you to do is leave those questions and comments down below in the comment line and just say, hey, Casey, this is my question or comment. It'll help me to get back to it easier. I know, uh, you know, some people watch the broadcast and then they uh, they text me or they they, you know, Leave right on the broadcast what, what the topic is or question that you want to hear about. You know, smash the wow face as usual. Mr. Casey loves when you smash the wow face. Uh, remember to like and share. Always like and share because we're trying to get the big hearted caregiver message out all over the world. You know, so we're going to need you to like and share. And uh, just on a recap, Reliable Aid Inc., your personal assistance professionals, we watch over your family just like they were ours because we care that much. Uh, Reliable Aid Inc. takes the worry out of home care. Uh, please call and make an informed decision. Call today for your free in-home health care assessment at 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Call Mr. Casey if you need me to come out there and look after your uh, your parents, your loved ones, whatever. You know, I give you a free in-home assessment, tell you what the best practices are and some things that we can maybe do to get you helping and, and rolling along with your parents. 302-689-3240. Also, coming to a theater near you soon, I got the manual. Now, if you need a copy of the manual, all you got to do is let me know. Um, you know how to get at me. If you need a copy of the manual, I'm going to give it to you for free. That'll be able to help you take care, get the best practices and everything, take care of your parents and your loved ones. It's called the Complete In-Home Care Training Manual and Handbook. You know, Mr. KC has everything you need to help you take care of your parents. Uh, I'm glad that you're here with me today. I also want to thank you because I know that you love your parents or you wouldn't even be here with me. I love my parents and, um, you know, I'm with my, my father right now. So that's what it is. Take care of your parents. Do everything you got to do. Make this day your best day. Go forth. Be prosperous. Talk to you soon. I love you and I'm out.